Hello, I'm Steve Olson, a technical specialist for Autodesk. In this video, I'd like to share how to use the automated drawings feature in Fusion. So I have a Fusion design here open, and I'm going to go up to the File menu. I'm going to go to New Drawing, and I'll save from Design. This process is the same whether I'm going to make an automated drawing or a drawing through more manual techniques. So you can see here the very first set of buttons is if I'm going to do automatic or manual. So I'm going to do automatic. I'm going to do the full assembly from scratch. I'll pick my standard. And down here, I can say if I want to do the first level or all levels. Real quick here, the biggest difference is that I'm going to say automatic at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And it's going to then upload this to the cloud. It's going to process in the cloud. If I expose my data panel here, you'll see there's a few tasks that are showing down here in the bottom. If I go to my little status here, you can see that there is the ability to open up the status bar while it's working on this. We'll give a couple moments here to complete the process. And it, once it's done, you'll see that it says complete and I can click a button here to open. Across the bottom of my window here, you can see that I have all the different sheets for all the different components. You can see here the, the first sheet is the assembly. The second sheet shows some dimensions of the overall sizing of that assembly. And now here is the first component, the wheel. And you can see once I get to this sheet, it's going to ask me, you know, is there a better layout here? It, it came up with a couple different layouts it could potentially use for the dimensions. This one looks good. I'm going to go on to another sheet here. And if that box doesn't pop up for some reason, because, you know, maybe it wasn't the first sheet I was on, I can very easily right click one of these dimensions and say edit auto dimensions. And it will bring up the similar dialog box for this sheet. You can see that it will ask for baseline, chain, symmetric, uh, a handful of different options. I can choose to select that or not. I'm just going to go ahead and just say cancel here. I don't need to make any change to these. I could very easily move these around or make changes to them if, if need be or add my own or delete them. But you can see this is a very quick start to my drawing. If I need to add a few things, drawings was always one of those things that it felt like, man, I spent so much time designing this. Now I'm going to create all these dimensions. It just felt like it was maybe unnecessary work at times. So here's one technique you can use to jumpstart your drawing creation and hopefully shorten the length of time that's required for creating the proper documentation for your design. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you have questions or comments, feel free to enter those below. And I also like to hear what you think about this feature. So please enter those as well below. And thanks again.